CNN just publicly humiliated Texas hero for gunning down killer, backfires big with his two-word response. A man who is now being hailed as a hero for his pursuit of the gunman responsible for the Texas church shooting which left 26 people dead and 20 injured described the car chase that ended with the shooter crashing his vehicle. Johnny Langendorf was driving near the Sutherland Springs First Baptist Church on Sunday when he saw two men shooting at each other outside of the building. The two men involved in the exchange of gunfire were the church shooter, who has been identified as Devin Kelly, and a local area resident, Stephen Williford. As he was driving by Langendorf said Williford asked him for help after the shooter was wounded and fled in his car. Williford then pursued the killer at speeds of over 95 miles per hour until, because of his wounds, Kelly ran his vehicle off the road and then shot himself dead. Crucial facts about the shooting at First Baptist Church in Sutherland Springs, Texas, are beginning to emerge. The perpetrator, 26-year-old Devin Patrick Kelly, was given a bad conduct discharge from the Air Force three years ago after he assaulted his wife and infant child in 2012. Acquaintances of Kelly told the Daily Mail that he was creepy, crazy and weird, with a habit of posting atheist rants online. In interviews this morning, Texas Governor Greg Abbott said that Kelly had been denied a state permit to carry a weapon, and Abbott also said he believes the investigation will show that the Sutherland Springs Church was not a target that Kelly chose at random. The Daily Beast reported Sunday that Kelly's estranged wife's mother listed a Sutherland Springs address which seemed to indicate a motive of personal revenge. The slaughter at the church was stopped by an armed citizen. Two quick-thinking locals have been hailed as heroes for stopping the man responsible for the worst-ever mass shooting in Texas which left 26 dead. Stephen Williford, 55, confronted gunman Devin Patrick Kelly, 26, when he was leaving First Baptist Church of Sutherland Springs, wounding him, before he and Johnny Langendorf. 27, chased him in a car after he fled. During the 95 miles per hour car chase, Kelly lost control of his vehicle and ran off the road, before shooting himself in the head. He called his father shortly before to say he had been shot and didn't think he was going to make it. Texas Department of Public Safety Regional Director Freeman Martin said Williford ran out his home barefoot with his rifle and engaged the suspect. Williford, a local plumber with no military experience, is however an excellent shot. And when he came face to face with Kelly, he shot in between his body armor, hitting him in his side. At this point Langendorf came across the exchange of fire. When Kelly dropped his Ruger assault rifle and fled in an SUV, Williford came up to Langendorf and hopped in his truck. The neighbor with the rifle came to my truck and he opened my door and said, he shot up the church, and got in, Langendorf told Good Morning America. He said, chase him so that's what I did. I just chase him. Langendorf told Xot 12 that he'd been speeding at 95 miles per hour, while on the phone to dispatch, while Williford kept his rifle trained on the gunman's car. As they approached a sharp curve in the road, Near the 307 and 539, he said Kelly appeared to lose control and his car swerved off the road. That's when I put the truck in park, he said. The other gentleman jumped out, and had his rifle on him. He didn't move after that. Kelly was already dead when they found him inside his vehicle having shot himself dead. Police revealed during a press conference on Monday that the gunman called his father to let him know he had been shot and he didn't think he was going to make it. At this time we believe that he had a self-inflicted gunshot wound, Wilson County Sheriff Joe Tackett told CBS News on Monday. We can expect to learn more about the gun.